It's a typical day for Aminu, the local garbage collector. Rolling his cart around the Nigerian capital, emptying the waste from people's homes in this dump site. Having done this for nearly 10 years, it's the only business he's ever known. I appreciate my work because through this I feed and provide for my family and my younger ones. For me it's lucrative because every day I make about five to six thousand on two trips. But Aminu is oblivious of what happens to the garbage thereafter. In this dump alone, thousands of scavengers work to eke a living, most of them from the northern region, collecting and sorting out the non-degradable items what many believe have no value at all. For them, all of this translates into cash. But their worry is that the authorities haven't been supportive. Is this our business new? Is it valuable to the whole world, generally? If there's that consideration, really, they should, they should give us more encouragement by giving us a piece of land so that we, we have a piece of land, then we keep on recycling. But a few, like this environmental artist, see great value in this business. Not for the money's worth, but for how it saves the environment. Ifesinachi Nwanyawo makes all of these come to life in his artworks. He doesn't think the country is taking environmental issues seriously. All our interest as a people is usually concentrated on the product, not the package that comes with the product. We're talking about drinking water. You forget that the plastic bottle that you buy the water from is not degradable. It takes hundreds of years for it to decompose. So when you throw it out in the street, what happens to it? For me, the first thing is for the government to make sure that the rules and the regulations governing the environment, they are obeyed and penalties are given to the falters. Nigeria generates 65 million tons of waste annually, but the country has no infrastructure to recycle its massive waste, posing great danger to the environment. A major reason why Lebanese environmentalist Nawal Fakri has been in Nigeria for over a year now. She's initiating new ways of reusing materials for building constructions. The latest being this garden located in the city centre. She's hoping to train others for free. My uh, second step is uh, to do like recycling center, training recycling center. Uh, maybe I will find a place that's up to how I can get, you know, it's very difficult to take a garden, to see one, do you understand? But if I can get one, that's my, uh, what I want to do to do like a recycling training center and maybe it will be the first in Africa and maybe it will be for all the Africa, not only for uh, Nigeria. It would take as long as the country and the authorities want to build a better waste disposal culture. With the growing population, the country would have to begin devising better means of disposing its waste. Environmentalists worry that if this isn't done soon, it may result in a major environmental crisis. Kelechi Mekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.